is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through ವೇದಿತಾ ಅವರು ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರ ಮಾತುಗಳಿಗೆ ಇದೀಗ ವೇದಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ನಾನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಓವರ್ ಟು ಯು ಸರ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ವಿನ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟು ಬುಕ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಹಿಯರ್ i want to express i want to tell two things today one is about translation translation what i mean is uh, inter um, lingual that is um, interstate that is uh, tamil to kannadam kannadam to malayalam you know, we have a lot of translations from the west you name any author from the west we have it we have the translation even the unknown writer there is a writer tahir ben jalon he lives in paris he is an algerian even his novels have been translated into tamil tahir ben jalon we have all the translations from but it's not happening between the regional languages we don't have we don't know about any marathi writer of course kannada writers we have but very few there is a cross cultural exchange happening between kerala and tamil nadu that's fine i am more popular in uh, kerala than tamil nadu and you know the condition of tamil nadu there is i i don't need to tell you about that huh cinema is being worshiped by tamils as their religion cinema actors are their gods rajinikanth kamal vijay ajit and so on and writers don't exist in tamil nadu because whatever i write no one bothers no one cares because we don't exist they don't know you will be you won't believe i have written 100 books 90 non fiction books 10 fiction including poems and uh, this thing, novels my non fiction book sells only uh, 200 copies 50 to 200 if it is novel if i create a novel it goes up to 1000 that's all that is the condition no one reads there is no intelligentsia there is no intellectual uh, climate in um, tamil nadu the cinema actors and the writers they claim themselves as writers kamal claims himself as a writer and uh, it goes on vairamuthu so we don't have any space but we are creating a tremendous amount of uh, serious literature we have so many icons so many geniuses in tamil literature they are not being exported to the other states you won't know about ashoka mitran t janaki raman pudumi pittan kupa rajagopalan they are all they are all equal to anton chekhov dostoevsky tolstoy anyone great in the world they are equal more than dostoevsky or tolstoy pudumi pittan ashoka mitran there are so many not being translated into any regional language except malayalam 
and i will tell you one example i am known as a transgressive writer in, uh, in you know among my readers and critics in this also zero degree see zero degree my novel zero degree is considered to be a transgressive work and it is the second novel in the whole world literature written lipogrammatically lipogrammatically lipogram lipogram is lipogram means removing a word from a text or removing a group of words from a text imagine i wrote zero degree 25 years back without the words uru ondru in the whole text and it is impossible to write a sentence in tamil without the word uru ondru it is equivalent to um, write in english without the word the the sad thing about this uh, novel is it was translated into malayalam without this lipogram and it was translated into english it is so popular in uh, us and europe included into their academical syllabus and all but it was translated without lipogram i won't i don't find a translator and no one knows about this novel in india this is the second novel in the whole canon of world literature first novel is when i was writing this novel i i didn't know i was not aware of the the other one it is called la disparation in french written by george perec he removed the one syllable a eh, in the whole novel la la disparation and it is impossible to write a single sentence without the syllable a eh, in french it was immediately translated into english name is void without the word the it is happening so these are the two novels in the whole world literature canon written lipogrammatically and there is no translation in no trans hindi translation no kannada translation no nothing nothing happening so what i suggest is we have to do the inter uh, regional language translations we have to do and stop the translation of western literature we are going you know they they behave as imperial still in the literary world we are importing importing go on importing but they don't know about us when I, if i go to europe or any any place when i when i see you look at a library they have only arundhati rai and uh, other mediocre indian english writers all the indian english writers are mediocres except one guy amit choudhury all the other guys are mediocre we have lot and lot of best writers than arundhati rai and company all media critty what they are writing we have rich literature in kannada in man in tamil in malayalam very rich literature we use this iphone and lot of uh, western materials because they are better than indian product but we have uh, very great product the regional language literature it's happening in marathi in bengali in tamil in kannadam 
we have a rich heritage and i i would say mahabharatam is the first most uh, what i say great uh, transgressive literature the difference between mahabharat vyasa and myself is he wrote it in a beautiful language the language is not transgressive in mahabharat but in my case the language itself is transgressive that's why i am being hated by tamils this is the first or second meeting function i go without bodyguards <laughs> huh? when i went to sri lanka last month there was death threat people were going to uh, people uh, people went to police and made a complaint against me saying that charu a tamil writer um, you know he accused all the sri lankans as dogs so this kind of thing is this is the first time i'm safe huh? i'm happy <laughs> the way uh, other point okay i think i have taken 10 minutes more than so we have to create a, a climate that you know me better and i i should know you huh? canada we are neighbors huh? bengaluru is my you know second hometown but we don't know each other is it so we have to start a, a new beginning hmm? thank you and congratulations yeah you Uh, one more point i wanted to tell uh, to the young writers that um, you may disagree with me totally but it's my um, honest opinion that realism is exhausted if you have doubt you please read this story called beach translated from french the author is alan rob grie written in the 60s three children were walking on the on a seashore that is the story there is nothing happened in the story nothing happens he created a, a what what can i say a, a universe full of words nothing happens in the story but it's uh, four pages there are two translations available in the internet the story is beach what antonin arto says about realism is it's like peeping tom no peeping peep show you are uh, uh, peeping into others lives their tears uh, if i if i tell you a tear jerking story you are you are you know disturbed no stop the realism uh, someone in the uh, an ang writer in a morning session he told the the no no the, the narrative is exhausted our masters have written everything so i went for speculative fiction so he wrote that and he got the award also i forgot his name uh speculative fiction he goes for uh he goes to that direction and i went to the transgressive side so there are millions of stories everyone you have story you have a story every one of you but how long we are going to produce this kind of realistic stories this is the point i want Thank you sir. Iga